I mean, you guys are all kind of really like sort of newer insurgent sort of providers. I mean, I, I mean, you know, what are the customer expectations of you? I mean, as a new provider, like let's take Greenlight, I'll just start with you. I mean, you know, do they want you to be sort of that solutions provider for them? What are what are they looking for from you to uh, when something goes wrong? So, you know, we're a data only company. We we pass forty five thousand homes right now in North County, and we're looking to pick up another thirty thousand here in Rochester next year, and we're expanding to Buffalo to about another ten thousand next year. Um, what what they're looking for from us, what they've told us is is their 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 bills continue to increase and and their service and and speed that they're getting from who they're paying service for today uh d- does not match what the increased bill is 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 costing them they're looking for somebody who can deliver a fast affordable product with fat you know that that has no contract it has no fees our base product is fifty dollars a month it was fifty dollars a month when it was launched in 2011 that that's it i mean really we, they're they're not looking to us for tv there's other people that do right. ip television that can do that better than we believe that we can same with phone most people have a cell phone and there are ways to do voice over ip on our network and our network will work beautifully with any of them one of the other things customers are have, have looked to us for is when, when you know cutting the cord right cord cutters people who aren't aren't paying for traditional uh, cable or or, or uh, maybe in phone service they've looked to some help to us for some help with that. And we have some information up on our website. We've also helped uh, with some seminars, which are much more difficult to do right now, but to take customers through what are some of their alternatives out there. You know, Richard mentioned two of them out there, YouTube TV, which I'm a subscriber and, you know, Hulu, yeah. Hulu Live and Hulu Live Plus. But there, there's so many out there, it's, it's boggling, mind boggling to try to decide, well, what channels do I want to watch and, and who offers what, where, and and, and we try to help them make some sense of that, though it's sometimes hard for us to wrap our head around too, because that's right. something that changes pretty often. They're looking for that pipe to the internet. And this year of, of all the years, this has been incredibly important for those for those customers of ours. So making sure that that service works is, is really what they're looking to us for and, and looking to a company who can provide choice. And, and that's really the one thing that you're limited in, um, in, in most municipalities across the, the country is, your choice of broadband service providers are very limited. And we're happy to bring that choice to, to any place that we pass. David and Richard, you wanna give just a quick final thought or? Okay. Sure, so yeah, Sean, to echo Lloyd, thanks for having us. Really appreciate sure. the opportunity out there. I've, I've learned a lot from, from Lloyd and Richard here today. That's uh, It's very interesting how we're all doing things a little differently, but all trying to get to that same goal, which is to provide service to as many people as we can to get broadband out there to people who just don't have that access. And uh, you know that's certainly our goal here. We're trying to get to as many people as quickly as we can. We just can't possibly do it as fast as we'd like to or they'd like to get us to get there. But we're, we're, we're working on it and uh, I love continuing these conversations. It's uh, always interesting to see what everybody else is doing.